Hey fish heads, this is just a quick tip for you guys this evening. Um, wanted to put this up because I got a question from Jack Guffey and his question is, how would you paint a wood grain, say a balsa wood, on a plastic crank body? Well, um, I would not airbrush it. I'm going to show you how I would do that and um, let's go ahead and get that started. So on this particular shot, you're going to be able to see um, pretty much how I do it. I'm using a fan brush tonight. And um, for those of you that do not know what a fan brush is, a fan brush is an artist's brush. You can pick it up at Walmart, actually. Um, you can get it in a multiple um, package artist brush set for around 8 bucks, Or you can get the artist brush by itself. So let's go ahead and get into this video this evening. Now, um, the first thing that you're going to see is that I'm putting down a couple of drops here. The first is sunrise yellow, and I already have a sand, a droplet of sand color. Um, you're seeing that coming up now. And it's on, I'm just using a scratch piece of paper to demonstrate how I would do I would not do this with an airbrush because you really want to see the grain in the wood. And one of the things about this particular style of painting is that the fan brush is going to interpret the grain for you. Now I'm blending just the sand into the sunrise yellow just to get a light base and you guys know by now that I normally work light to dark. Now the next color that we're blending in is this uh, 74 detail burnt sienna and that's got a really nice warm orange tone about it and it's gonna start you're gonna start to see the transformation and as I'm making these long brush strokes, and you can do this on a plastic bait as well, as long as you have a white primer down, you start to see these long grains come in. And that's exactly what you want, which is why an airbrush would not be suitable for this type of work. But I'm just working this um, artist detail fan brush in one long stroke over and over again, just to kind of simulate what that would look like. The next color is some detail burnt orange. And again, we're going from light to dark. So we started out with that sunrise yellow and sand color. Then we added in that orangish burnt sienna. And now we have some burnt orange, which is not orange. But you can see the fan brush is starting to get a little bit mottled up here, which is fine. You can kind of smooth that out. And you want to work a little bit drier. So you can see that I'm blotting that through. And then I'm just pulling these darker streaks into this damp, moist paint just to pull a little bit more grain. And this, again, we're simulating wood grain. And that's pretty much all that I'm doing with that. So you can see real easy what it's gonna look like. And by this point, I've got the, uh, the brush. It's kind of getting, yeah, we wanna kind of brush that through. And then as we just keep pulling this darker into the lighter, really starts to look like a piece of wood. So that's pretty much it for the tip today, folks. I hope you've enjoyed the lesson. It just takes a couple of different colors to make this happen for you guys. Just a sand, a sunrise yellow. Blend those together to get your lighter tones down, and that should be on top of a white primer. And then work into that detail burnt sienna, which is that nice warm orangish tone of brown. And just pull it out in long streaks. Now you guys can practice on spoons. That helps a good bit. Um, you guys can also practice on baits that you may be waiting to repaint or that you've messed up. Um, practice makes perfect, and you can throw white primer down on anything and then start from scratch. I hope that's helped a little bit. That's how I would do it. Leave a comment below on how you guys would do it. Enjoy the rest of your day, evening, afternoon, morning, whenever you guys are watching this video. And thanks for stopping by. I will see you on the next video. Cheers and happy casting from Jekyll Bates.